beautiful. I'm putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven, seven, cutty. Last night, let's let's just get to it. Let's get to it. So we start off. We getting Lamar throws to pick. I'm like, and we was like ten seconds. Until the game, they throw the pick six. Not his fault. Sammy Watkins fell down. I'm like, okay, okay. Then she, uh, she's go down there and get, get up, get one. They make it fourteen to seven. Like we literally could not stop them. Lamar goes down there, throws another interception. Now on this one, it was his fault. It was, it was just, it was a good play up by the Honey Badger. But defense stopped. We go back down, and that's where the game just started going crazy because we uh, we get. Like, baby Ricky Williams fumbled the ball, but Dev was right there to catch it, to go in there and get the touchdown. That was, like, crazy. And I'm surprised John Harbaugh let baby Ricky Williams keep playing. Because you know when he's in that doghouse, you're in the doghouse. And that's his second fumble, too. But let's just get straight to everything. You know what I'm saying? So... <sighs> The Patrick Mahomes was seeing like he was really unstoppable. He's really seeing like he was unstoppable. So the first half uh, for Lamar Jackson's seven attempts, and this is literally not first half, first quarter, seven attempts, three incomplete, only 24 yards, two interceptions. That's how crazy it was going. And I'm like, this is finna be a long night. We're about to get smashed. Cause you don't turn over the ball with the Chiefs. You literally gotta play like perfect. And we did not play perfect. Then the rest of the game after that, Lamar went complete 15. Attempts, 19. So, 19 attempts, 15 completed. Only four missed. 215 yards. A lot of people is not going to talk about that. But that right there is turning that switch on. A lot of people, a lot of quarterbacks, you have those interceptions that early, you be down that early, they usually crush them. But Lamar... No, he started playing angry. He started playing angry. And the only thing he needed was two things. The offensive line, which I'm going to talk about, and defense just to stop him or get try to get the ball back. And which that did happen. Both did happen. He threw one TD. And I believe he ran in two, I think. But just the fact that offensive line of Alejandro Villanueva crushed, he got crushed last week playing that right tackle. And he, and he admitted he played bad. That was his kind of pretty much kind of like his first time doing that. But then when he went to the left, I didn't hear Chris Jones' name. Like, he literally did not change the game. And he was her and uh, Frank Clark. Hell, he held that down. Like, Alejandro did his thing. The, the whole offensive line really did his did their thing. They gave him time, and he was letting them have it. When he 
when he got out of his own head, he was letting them have it. And on top of that, the run game was great. Freeman looked at it very nice. He had one big run for uh, 31 yards, but Freeman looked more elusive and more quicker than Murray. You know, Murray uh, rushed for the TD, but he did his thing. Maybe Ricky Williams did his thing. He had that fumble now, but he still he still gushed. When he had one play, he just like ran to the side. I'm like, bro, why you not cutting up? Like, just cut up. Because the hole was there, but it seemed like he was overthinking it. And he literally got like maybe one yard for that or back to the scrimmage. And even the announcers, they was like, why he didn't cut up? So they gave him the ball again, kind of the same play. But this time he cut up and he got some yak. So I was like, okay, now you're at your head. Just keep, just play. Go by your instincts and just play. Offense was smooth. Turn them up in the run game. Like the Russian. Uh, let me see what this Russian was. Uh, 251 yards Russian. Carving them up. Defense. Passing gave 343 yards. But I'm going to get to that a little, little bit later. But we were just tearing them up, and it seemed like they, it couldn't. They didn't know, they didn't know what was going on at that times. And Lamar was letting them have it, and then the passing game was letting them have it. Hollywood. Hollywood went. He went Hollywood like. One hundred and thirteen yards, six receptions, one TD. And that's literally like he doesn't have that that person yet by him. Cause Sammy, Sammy's doing doing good, but he's doing a little up and down. Mark Andrews, when he gets his chance, he's doing good. Cause he he caught some critical plays, some critical first downs, doing great blocking. I know Mark Andrews gonna bust on the scene. I know a lot of people looking at the stats and like, what is Mark An Mark Andrews doing? A little bit of the dirty work right now, but he's also taking some of that stress away from Hollywood. And that's why Hollywood been clowning. You gotta think too that Rashad Bateman ain't even here yet, and if Rashad Bateman can do his thing, oh, it's gonna be even more nice. But. This team showed no quit. It showed, it showed um, heart, but we already know that he's going to show heart. That's a gimme. And then the defense, the defense was getting carved up. They didn't, they didn't, they been, but they did not break. They just kept on struck, just holding on. But then, oh, wait. The game away had first home game at the bank. We would never been able to get away without the Kansas City Chiefs trading for Orlando Brown Jr. That pick helped us beat them. How crazy is that? The same person we picked at 31 helped us beat the team that originally had the 31st pick. You, you can't make this stuff up. Oh, man. Him in Houston. And Matabuki was, oh. See, Brandon Williams got injured. We haven't even had their wolf back yet. But Matabuki. He was just tearing up the center, man. Like, he was getting health a lot. They didn't call it. But, ooh, you can see him getting all these tips and stuff from Aaron Donald in the offseason. Derek Wolf, Collette Campbell, Pernell McPhee, Big Baby, Brandon Williams. You can see he's soaking up that knowledge, and he's showing it out on that field. 
He is doing his thing. But my and Anthony Avery, two games now. I really haven't heard much. And it was one play where Patrick Mahomes threw like a bomb to I believe it was Robinson. And um Deshaun Elliott was got injured with a concussion. So they put Brandon Stevens back there. And they kept him all just gonna be trouble. It's the rookie and everything. And Anthony Avery was running with uh, he was running with Robinson, and he started pointing, telling Brandon Stevens, I'm passing this to you because he's going deep. Brandon Stevens read that and started running with the old boy because Anthony Avery knew he couldn't catch up with him because they wasn't doing no press. But he couldn't catch up with him. And I was like, oh, my goodness, they did not miss a step. And that pass went incomplete. And they have, uh, if if Stevens probably would have turned his head, he might possibility could have got an interception. But he just wanted to make sure it was it was gonna be incomplete, which I can hundred percent agree with that. Or oh, you don't wanna accidentally bump on and pass it for you know how to because the refs were doing a lot, a lot of flags. It literally was like they was trying to slow the game down because at first half everything was going fast. I was like, man, this is gonna be a quick game. Second half, more flags start going, and then the game starts slowing down a little bit. And then, like, the commercials and all this type of stuff just started happening. I was like, okay, NFL, they trying to do get their money and stuff like that. Because the game is going about too quick, and they got, got a lot of commercials they got to get to. But... That was good communication on the end. So, Double A, he's doing his thing. Marlon Humphrey, he gave that one TD away, but he was in good position. And to me, on that call, um, Clark it was one one safety deep, but couldn't couldn't really do anything with that. You know, that was one safety, and I don't know who the other wide receiver was that was running open. Clark went to go get him, and then they left the other guy with a little, little opening that uh, Marlon couldn't catch up with. And, but Marlon almost batted that ball out, but it was it was a good catch. That was a really good catch because Marlon was there. Marlon was there. But um, what else? So the defense uh, after that after that good play, everybody was. I think I think that's when the turning point really happened because they let Kelsey. Do that one big play in the third quarter. Then after that, they literally shut them down. They did get nothing in the fourth quarter. Zero in the fourth quarter. And Lamar in the offense let them have it. Got and they got Lamar in the offense got twelve in the fourth quarter. We was down 11 points, and they went and got that 12. They cheated us with the two-point conversion, the one Hollywood caught. But they, but they tell my ineligible man that that call right there was so ridiculous. But they knew that, but we still overcame it anyway. But man, that. That was crazy. And the thing we a lot of people kept saying was don't wink, don't do that blitz, don't do that blitz. And they pulled up a stat. He said in this game, this is the less bliss blessing that the Ravens have ever did on the wink. And look what happens. It's just very simple. He kept rushing four, sometimes five, but he kept rushing four. Houston was getting there. Oway, the rookie, defensive rookie of the year, should be defensive. Uh, uh, he might be in a running for defensive player of the week because he literally caused the interception. He did the fumble, and he did the fumble recovery. And on top of that, 
first time Patrick Mahomes through an intercession in his career in September, as well his first loss in September. This, this game right here was so important because we literally have, what, 17 people now home and injured. But it shows the, the bond, the family ship of the team. The don't quit. Being but don't break. This game, I know I've seen some people... Some Chiefs fans was like, ah, that's it. That's y'all. Okay. You got to understand. It's just like this could be a changing. This is another notch in Lamar's belt of getting better. The organization and the other players are continually getting better. And we literally didn't have all our starters, obviously. But Kansas City had a fully healthy team. And we still pulled it out. Finally be Andy Reid in September. Eric, Pat, all of them. With a banged up team. No juice, man. No JK, no Gus, no Wolf. It was like ridiculous. No, no Westry, even though he's new, but still, he was a starter. We literally pulled up some practice squad members for this game, and we still pulled it off. Lamar is the only quarterback to be the Patrick Mahomes that's young other than Brady, because Brady, we know. Brady owns the Chiefs. Well, he owns Patrick. Pat. I don't think Pat ever beat Brady. I know Lamar has. But I don't think Pat ever beat Brady. Did he? Yeah, I don't think he ever beat Brady. Cause Brady whooped him in New England, and Brady Spanked them with Tampa Bay. So, yeah. But now, Lamar got that little monkey off his back. Yeah, Patrick Mahomes beat him three uh, three times, I believe. Now he's 3-1 and one against Lamar. I believe he's 2-0 and oh against Baker, 2-0 and oh against Josh Allen. And somebody else I'm missing. He's, that's young that he's beat. But Lamar is the only one that is beating Patrick Mahomes. And on top of that, with a comeback against the Chiefs, you know how hard that is? And this man literally did that. Sunday night football did that. Went against the odds, throwing two interceptions in the first quarter. Didn't break. So the haters can hate, say what they want to say. But Lamar is going to keep doing his thing. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. The Ravens ain't done. Everybody in our division is one and one. And I believe that game last night showed everybody there's no quit. Lamar's just getting started. The Ravens are just getting started.